Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level chemistry for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of kinetics, and in particular, on collision theory. Hi, I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level chemistry with our helpful revision resources tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button, and whilst you're watching, please leave any comments down below about anything you're unsure of. If it's your first time watching, make sure to let us know so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the video. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson one of five in this tutorial, covering the topic of collision theory. This is the first video in our series of five lessons on the topic of kinetics. In the last lesson, we learnt about mean bond enthalpy and how we can calculate approximate values of delta H using it. In this lesson, we've got two key learning objectives. The first of these is to cover activation energy, and the second is to look at collision theory. Here are the AQA specification points for this lesson. Pause the video now to have a quick read through them before we begin. First, we will cover the definition of activation energy. The activation energy is the minimum amount of energy needed for a successful collision to occur between particles. This will cause a reaction to happen. It is also referred to as an energy barrier that reactant particles have to overcome to react. Now let's look at the conditions for a reaction to occur. Here, we can see that a particle with a high energy and a correct orientation will lead to a successful collision. The collision theory states that for a reaction to occur, the particles involved must collide with the particles right way around, i.e. the correct orientation, and with enough energy so that bonds are broken between the reactants. Firstly, for a reaction to be successful, the particles need to collide in the correct orientation. This is so that the correct bonds will be broken or formed. The particles need to be moving towards each other and facing each other. This is so they don't just bounce off each other, which would lead to an unsuccessful collision. Secondly, for a reaction to be successful, the particles will need sufficient kinetic energy to react, also known as activation energy. This is to ensure that they collide with enough force. This sufficient amount of energy is known as activation energy and is required to break the bonds between the reactants. A reaction with a low activation energy will happen more easily than a reaction with a high activation energy. A reaction that has a high activation energy requires a larger amount of heat energy to begin the reaction. This is needed to give the reactant particles sufficient energy to react. This figure represents an example of an enthalpy profile diagram. It represents the activation energy as a sort of barrier, as shown here. The particles in the reaction need to overcome this barrier for the reaction to occur. According to this diagram, the products are at a lower enthalpy level than the reactants, suggesting that this reaction releases energy. Finally, we'll look at why most collisions do not lead to a reaction. As we learned earlier, a collision may not lead to a reaction if the particles do not collide in the correct orientation. 
or have enough energy. They need high energy and a correct orientation for a successful collision to occur. A collision may not lead to a reaction if the particles don't collide with enough energy or in the correct orientation. If this happens, a repulsion will take place between the particles. Instead of a reaction being initiated, the species will simply bounce off each other. We've now covered all the learning objectives for this lesson. Feel free to pause the video now and re-watch any of the sections you feel unsure about. We have now completed Lesson 1. If you liked this video, make sure to catch our latest videos by subscribing down below and leaving a comment on a topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch more videos on our series of A-Level Chemistry or visit our website studymind.co.uk for past paper compilations by topic and specification.